Hello, my beautiful friends. Your boy Seth here, checking out a pre-alpha build demo for Little Nemo and the Guardians of Slumberland. This was sort of the one more thing, if you will, at the very tail end of the Day of the Devs show um, last week. And I'm really thankful to Dave from Dysoft, who has given us an opportunity to check out this very, very early build of the game. Um, of course, this is pre-alpha, so game is very much just kind of a little taste of the game. Um, not going to be indicative of the final product. The game is live now on Kickstarter. There's going to be a link in the video description for you guys to check that out. And if you like what you see from this video, if you want to know more about the game, we're actually having Dave on our podcast, All On Nintendo Podcast. There are links to that in the video description as well. So you can le learn even more about this really cool little Nemo game. Um, but uh, again, pre-alpha build here. Very thankful for the opportunity to check this out. And um, we're, we're going to get into it and take a look. There are a lot of things um, that there, if you look at this readme here that he's included, um, again, work in progress. There are a few little kind of um, disclaimers here and stuff. One of them being that there's no definitive end to the demo. There are three toy upgrades that we can find when we get into it. So, um, so yeah, we're just going to get into it and uh, see what there is to see. I love the visual style of this game. Um, so, if folks are not familiar, Little Nemo is a very long and storied sort of a historical comic strip by Windsor McKay from like the early 1900s, um, which has had all manner of media made after it from comics to uh, as original comics to an animated movie to video games and I think this one here will kind of appeal to people who are familiar with the old NES Little Nemo game because this one is sort of an action platformer um, music done by Peter Berkman of Anamanaguchi so as you can hear the music is like incredible I was sitting there watching Day of the Devs ended with him uh, playing some of the music from this game, and I'm like getting misty. The, the music is so beautiful. Uh, so let's talk to Flip here. This is this is this game's representation of Flip. I love this take on Flip. Hey kid, welcome to Slumberland. You don't have any toys yet, so you can just run, jump, and interact. But explore a bit, and you might find some. Cool. So uh, Flip is sort of like. Usually in Little Nemo, Flip is sort of like a companion. Usually uh, Flip is like this carnival barker looking person. This kind of rugged, um, you know, uh, looking dude who, who, you know, patchwork cloak cigar in his mouth. So it's kind of cool to see this take on Flip being this kind of like punk rocker. You know, I think Dave said that his inspiration for this take on Flip was like Cindy Lauper. Just like this cool... Uh, you know, sort of female presenting character. I, I really like that take on Flip a lot. So, I'm going to see what we have here. And for people who are unfamiliar with Little Nemo, um, that's sort of the whole vibe. It all takes place inside of Slumberland. Slumberland is... Uh, I don't know if we can... Can we touch that? Nope. Uh... So Slumberland is like, uh, takes place inside of your dreams, obviously. We can pull up Turnips Mario 2 style. And as you can see, I mean, the game's visual aesthetic is beautiful. The game looks beautiful. The music is gorgeous. Really got something special here. Again, live on Kickstarter now. Hmm. Wonder if I'm supposed to like kind of get this through the sweet. That worked out better than I expected. It's another bed. I'm. This might be something of like a checkpoint. Whoa. Landed right on that. Hey, secret area. 
Heck yeah, secret area. I get the feeling that this game is going to be, like, full of secrets. Another key. Let's find out where this key goes. Oh, yikes. Okay. There are enemies everywhere. Yo, this this key's actually been kind of a great weapon. I don't I think it's gonna be fleeting though. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to bring it up here with me. Yeah, I can't carry can I throw it up there? No, not quite. Okay. I might need to bring it up here. Oh, there's candy there. I was just like expecting it to work like a normal. There's already a lot, like even even just in this like again very early look. Pretty expansive level already. Oh, was this the beginning? Could I have dropped down here this whole time? Mm, no, this is not the beginning. Okay, hang on. I don't want to go too far because I feel like there's a lot to explore here. I think something that's really important to note, too, is uh, the game feels good. Like, the platforming feels nice and, like, tight. I don't want to go too far. This, this key must go to something, so I don't want to, like, get too far ahead of myself and not have my key. Alright, little Nemo. Oh! Hey, that works. The key has become a weapon. <laughs> I don't know if this is the intended route. Probably not. But it worked for us. Ooh. Sick. Got like a yo-yo? Ooh, that can get rid of the blocks. Yes. I love it. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Dave, if the <laughs> if key percent was not the intended route to take on that boss. Whoops. It was what I had. Ah, shortcut. Ah, okay, we like that. So, oh wow, yeah, the the yo-yo opens up a ton of possibilities. Got another toy. Is that just an upgrade for the yo-yo? I don't. I think I just made it fast. It seems like it's maybe a little faster. We love that. Whoa! Hello. We've got to be careful. We can't take another hit. Music again, just so gorgeous. I think Peter, uh, with the soundtrack, has just done a phenomenal job of, like, capturing something that feels very sort of dreamlike and ethereal, but, like, also kind of feels true to... Um, 
you know, like old platformer soundtracks. Like, it, it feels appropriate for, like, what the game is going for, but it also feels new, you know, and I think there's something kind of beautiful about that. I think that's kind of, you know, the, the vibe of this game in general. Something that, that has its roots in something old, but is something new. I don't know if I can make that jump. Nope, not quite. Whoa. I am happy to have my yo-yo. This is a little scary. I don't know what the moons do. Just about every enemy has dropped moons, and I don't know if like after I get a certain amount of moons, maybe I get like a heart back or something. I'm sort of hoping that's the case. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's anything else down here. Just a bunch of candy. Which I mean, hey, that's okay. Candy's its own reward. Talk. Normally when you find chests and dressers in Slumberland, you'll get a new little buddy or PJs. That's not quite ready yet. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, cool. So normally that would be where a little buddy is. Okay, I think there is one more secret to find. Oh, hey, Flip's here. Oh wow, you've already made it down here? You've gotten pretty far along. There are probably some secrets you haven't found yet. But don't feel like you need to find everything. Let's see. I do want to see if I can find that last upgrade. The README says it's hidden pretty well. So we'll take a little bit of a look around. If we can find it, great. If we can't find it, that's okay too. It seems like there's gotta be something going on up here, but I just don't know how I would get that high. And I still, in the back of my mind, am wondering if it has anything to do with that key. Which I do still have. Although I don't know that I can get it back up there at this point. Oh, you know what? There are some areas I can go back to now that I have the yo-yo. Ooh. Didn't know that was going to happen. My big thing is, is I'm terrified of taking another hit right now. Okay, well, we filled the moon meter, and I don't know what... Oh, it does give us another heart. Okay, great. Awesome. Fantastic. I believe there was a rock. Yeah. Sweet! Heck yeah. Got some moons. That actually gave us almost a f like half a moon meter right there. Okay, what else? I'm sure there are other little secrets here to discover, too. I won't spend too long looking for the 
interest of the video. Y'all don't need to see me wandering around for too long, but uh, hopefully this gives you a really good idea of what the game is like. And like I said, um, we'll be having Dave on our podcast this week. So if you, whoa, if you want to hear more about this game, if you're interested, uh, there is more to come. You know, I bet I could get over there. I just would need to find a way to get the key over there. That's going to be my problem, is I don't think you can... I can't throw it directly up. And there may have been... I can't quite get up there without any sort of... assistance or thing to jump on, unfortunately. I wonder if there's one of those, like, stone crabs around here. Not anywhere to where I feel like I could get it up there. Yeah, I think I, I think I sort of walled myself off from that, unfortunately, by not having... I can jump straight up there, but I can't quite make it... If only I could hold on to this while holding something, that'd be great, but... Because then I could use that as a platform to get up here. Yeah, it's not happening. It is not happening. Well, that's okay. Let's head back to our bed. Did I already come over here? Oh, yeah, this was the... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm tracking, I'm tracking. This area is still kind of cordoned off. Here's Flip again. Let's head back to our bed. Let's say goodnight. Wake up. here we are in Nemo's room, uh, which I believe I was looking at the Kickstarter campaign. This game, of course, is coming to Nintendo Switch. That's the targeted platforms right now are PC and Nintendo Switch. Um, and the Nintendo Switch is all over the Kickstarter campaign, so you, you don't have to worry about that. The game is coming to Nintendo Switch. It just has the numbers of, like, Pi written down on the wall. The cat's name is Leo. We've got a piranha plant looking thing up there. We've got a Gumby slash Cactuar up there. We've got a question block. Super NES or Super Famicom controller. I love all these foreground elements here. Everybody had those like glow in the dark space stickers and uh, decals on their ceiling, right? So let's see. Uh, the little buddies, I don't believe, are working currently in this build. But here's a map of Slumberland. Ah. Yeah, these are some areas that I can't quite access. But it's, it's interesting that there are... It's interesting. I can see the collectibles that I, that I have and haven't collected. Oh. There's one there. Hmm. Wonder if I should pop back in and see see how to get to that. What's in this? Pajama collection. Oh. Buff one shot per, uh, protection when wearing these PJ. Okay, so the different pajamas have different abilities. I see. When attacking with the yo-yo, hold X to keep the yo-yo extended. I like that. That sounds cool. So, hang on. Let's let's actually, just real quick, pop back into Slumberland just briefly. Because it looked like there was a way for me to, like, go... Okay, things do respawn when you come back in, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. 
So actually, you you could in theory. Oh, hey, I was able to grab that with my yo-yo. I didn't know that was gonna happen. Hang on, hang on, hang on. And actually, I might be able to come in here now and pull this off. Hmm. Still not quite. But now I'm really curious. If I just had a way of getting up here, that would be perfect, but... And then I don't know what the yo-yo does exactly to the... Okay. Well, I could explore and just kind of live in this game all day, but I won't subject you all to that. Hopefully this all gives you a really good look at Little Nemo, Guardians of Slumberland. Um, really cool looking game. Uh, again, live on Kickstarter. The, um, the Kickstarter's live now. Links to that are in the video description. Again, huge thanks to Dave from Dysoft for sending this build over. Go support this game. Special little game. I can't wait to see where it goes. And again, uh, on Saturday's episode of All In a Nintendo Podcast, you can hear from Dave himself some information about the game. We're excited to, uh, to chat with him. That's going to be a great chat with Dave on the podcast. So go support the game on Kickstarter. Uh, keep an eye on its development. And um, tune into the podcast on Saturday. Until then, guys. Bye.